you get chances every once in a while to really do good and it really showed people that we're more than just sales reps we're more than just a security company we we really care about our customers On August 4th, I was out doing my job, which is selling home security. Uh, I have a new homeowner route, which I run, and the Ball family had just moved in. They liked what they heard, and obviously they needed security, and they needed something with a medical response as well, because their son has a lot of life-threatening issues. Lucky has special needs. He's blind, has cerebral palsy, has epilepsy. Michael had a connection with my son Lucky right away. Uh, it was instant that he went up to Lucky, he talked to Lucky, he touched Lucky, and he treated him like a person. For me to be there at that point in time and to meet Lucky, it was it was just amazing because he has this vibrance about him. He has this character. He's he's the cutest little kid you could ever meet. Michael did stay for a while, and he asked about Lucky's birthday that was coming up. Found out that Lucky loves a Toy Story. So I made a note in my head that I needed to be there when his birthday party was. That was probably the biggest surprise is when he showed up a few weeks later and actually had had the present for Lucky. I showed up at their house completely unannounced, um, presented the toy to them. It was wrapped up, it was done up in a bow, and he just was ecstatic. He, he was laughing, he was listening to the phrases that the Woody doll says. It just made his day. I took a photo of them together and they looked really cute. He had his little hat on and they both had the hats on, little cowboy hats. And uh, I posted it to Love What Matters they liked it so much, I guess, and they posted it that day, and then it went viral. It was in disbelief, honestly. Uh, the fact that he ever even came back after a sales call was amazing. Customer service doesn't even begin to describe what that is. That's human kindness. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh my gosh. Are you guys kidding me? This is for Lucky. What? <laughs> Dude, too much. You guys are oh, nuts. Oh, it's it's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lucky. I have three older boys myself, all big Toy Story fans. My middle son, Brody, had a Woody party when he was your age. Have a great day, Lucky. Jeff, the CEO of Brinks. Oh, that was so nice, Lucky. Everybody wrote you little notes. Yesterday, Brinks came into our house. Not only did they give Lucky birthday presents, but they came in and they upgraded our whole system. They donated money to the Lucky Strong Camp. It's our first big donation. It's our only corporate donation. And you guys have absolutely no idea what that means to us. It's a start. And that's all we've ever asked for is a start. I'm hoping that other companies can actually learn from this and go, okay, yeah, we need to be more like this. We need to be more open and more caring and um, really take care of our customers because that's what you've all done for us. For Michael to come in and treat Lucky with such love and respect, something that our own family didn't do, it's an amazing feeling. The relationship that I've been able to build with the Ball family has been incredible. I want to go to all their parties. I want to see Lucky grow. I want to see him go to his first day of school. I want to see him become a young man. If, if there's any way that we can do that, if we can help him along the way, even just as their security company, but also as friends, then we'll, we're open to doing that. He's someone that could actually be our friend now. Not just someone that came to our door, not a stranger, like an actual friend. And uh, it's not what you expect. Yeah? Did you like Michael too? Yeah? Are you going to be good friends with Michael now? <laughs>